Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be talking about the astrological occurrences for March 1st, 2016. So recently, the sun was conjunct Neptune exactly. Um, I think it was exact on the 28th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so with the sun conjunct Neptune, this is helping us to tune into the dreams that we have and the visions we have for the world. So it's important during sun conjunct Neptune to follow your intuition. For if you don't, you may experience some amount of confusion and it's also important to maintain boundaries during this time and making sure to say no when you mean no and yes when you mean yes. And, of course, listening to your intuition so that you don't sacrifice yourself in any way. Um, so the other important message that Sun Conjunct Neptune brings is to be focused on the here and now. Try not to get too caught up in your fantasies to the point where you are not experiencing happiness in the present moment. So try to be as present as possible and focus on the things that you can do. And don't worry too much if you're not exactly where you wish to be during this time. The other big uh, things that are happening today is Jupiter is has been in opposition to Chiron in Pisces. So Jupiter and Virgo opposite Chiron and Pisces. So this is bringing up some issues and thing, you know, things that need to be fixed. So the main important thing that we need to do is focus on solutions. Don't focus too much on your problems. Try to focus on what you can do to solve those problems right now. So there could be old hurts that come up, and there could also be um, a sense of longing for things to change. So again, just focus on the here and now. What can you do right now to immediately you know, placate those feelings because um, sometimes, you know, we all long for things that we wish we could be at, you know, uh, the certain, certain things we wish we could have. And focusing on that too much doesn't always, you know, help very much. So it is important to be present with what you do have and be grateful for what you do have. This uh, opposition is also squaring to Saturn and Sagittarius. So some of these feelings could be related to world problems that aren't being solved yet, or a lot of things that you might be hearing from outside sources um, about the world that is maybe just kind of bringing a heavier energy into your life. So, yeah, <laughs> just focus on yourself as much as, you know, focus on cleaning up your own act before worrying about the world's problems. Because if you focus too much on the world's problems, then you're actually just bringing yourself down. If you focus on the solutions that you have in your power to do, then you're at least doing something to improve the situation, whatever that may be, whatever power you do have to change your situation. Just remember you have that power. Okay, <laughs> I hope this video finds you well, and I hope that these energies are um, helping you realize what you can do. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.